What's up guys? I'm here with Peyton Luna. He went from just about nothing to about six figure run rate around that eight to $10,000 per month mark. And some of the best advice I ever got was you tell me just stay focus on your business and go all in on that. A lot of people are scared to do it, but just do it. You'll get no's, but you're also going to get yeses. So I can do it. I think anyone can. It's all about your mindset, all about you wanting to actually grow and put everything into business. In the very beginning, you were doing like one to $2,000 per month. Yeah, about that range. Last month, what'd you end up doing for the month? Um, I want to say it was 12,974. Okay, so, about 12,000. So what's up, guys? I'm here with Peyton Luna. Peyton is one of our clients in the Pressure Pros University. Before he actually started joining the program, his business was doing decent, but um, not too much, kind of just part time. And over the past 45 days, give or take within the program, he went from just about nothing to about six figure run rate around that eight to $10,000 per month mark. So Peyton, appreciate you hopping on today. Yeah, of course. First and foremost, I guess the first thing I want to talk about is if you can tell me exactly where you're at before we officially started, because I know I said uh, you didn't have much going on, but where exactly were you about, you know, 45, 60 days ago? Yeah. So uh, back then, then I was just kind of door knocking in my free time. I worked a full time job and I was just kind of doing this on the side trying to make some extra money. I was maybe five to 10 jobs a month. If that ends kind of pushing it. And I was making about two to three thousand dollars a month. So it was enough for some part time work, but nothing to do full time and like really take over. Awesome. And I, I remember around that time, you were actually considering, well, you had actually asked us if we had like any job openings, like within our own company. And it was at that time where I told you, I don't think you should do that. Like, I think you should just go all in on your business. And that's exactly what you did. And clearly it worked out because things are going much better now. But at that point, when you're kind of considering switching your focus, not doing so much of the business and focus on something else, and then ultimately decided to go all in on your business, what were the biggest needle movers that helped you start to see progress? I mean, just like actually get jobs uh, doing posting in Facebook groups. You and Miguel told me to join every single Facebook group I could. Um, that same night, I joined about 200 to 220 ish. And I just provide value without like actually advertising like most companies do. So that was a big one for me. Uh, posting on Nextdoor, that's where I got the majority of my jobs. Um, referrals from the people on Nextdoor and Facebook Marketplace, or not Facebook Marketplace, but uh, the Facebook group. Yeah. Those have really impacted my business because before that, it was pretty much just all me hands on going out, like actually talking to people or just leaving business cards. And now it's, I can just sit here, do homework and then start posting stuff on the side and then jobs are just coming in while I'm doing my stuff. So it's absolutely crazy. And some of the best advice I ever got was you tell me just hey focus on your business and go all in on that a lot of people like they try to start multiple businesses at once or they're working a job while you know running their business which granted like some people it's hard to make the transition fully to the business but ultimately the goal really should be to put as much focus on your business as possible even you you're going to school but you're putting in a decent amount of time, like a lot of time into the business. So your focus isn't split too much so where you can't really make any progress. But also one of the biggest needle movers for you from my perspective at least, was that when we gave you feedback, we gave you advice and strategies you could implement, you actually went out and you implemented right away. Like some people, they get that advice and then they kind of get shiny object syndrome. They want to learn everything, but never actually take action or they're scared of taking action and failing in some way. You listened, you took notes, and then you went out and took action right away, literally the same day. And you went balls to the wall. Like you you joined 200 groups, a ton of groups. You went all in on it and it, it worked out super well. So tell me a bit about like your strategy behind Facebook. I know you said you were kind of leading with value. Can you give us some like uh, some examples of that? Yeah, so something that Gail told me about, uh, kind of just like offering the potential clients, homeowners, a way to clean their roof. to say, hey, this is how you do it. This is the materials that you need. Go out and do it. I don't put my contact information down saying like, hey, if you need this service, call me. It's just, this is what you do. This is how you do it. Also, like gutter cleaning, you just provide information. Hey, if your gutters aren't cleaned regularly, then these are the downsides of it. This is what can happen. Something that's helped me a lot because HOA is really strict in my area. They're 
they're helping my business out a lot. So just like, hey, if you have HOA violations, this is how you can go around that and get it fixed. So I'm not really doing like conventional advertising, but just really adding value, making myself known in the community. And from that, I have people messaging me all the time. Like, hey, I saw you. We're just telling people how to do this. I don't want to do it. Can you come out and give me a quote? So I feel like that's gotten me a ton of return on absolutely zero monetary investment besides just my time. Yeah, then you said a great is leading with value. The goal here is provide value and the money's gonna follow. We talk about this all the time. And that's exactly what you did. So like with the informative posts, like you literally taught them how to do it. So people are saying like, you're a pressure washing business and you're out here teaching people how to do it for themselves. That's selfless. Like that's you putting the customer before you. So. There could be a few people that will take that advice and go do it themselves, but it's very unlikely. Most people will see all the steps they need to do, all the work they need to do, and they'll just outsource it to you instead. So a lot of people are afraid to do something like that because they think they're going to scare away the customers and the customers will go out and do it themselves. The reality of it is, is once they realize how much work it actually is, they just want to hire you to do it anyway. Yeah. And I mean, your target audience is the people that want to pay for that service. Really, it's not the ones that want to go out and do it themselves because if they were going to go out and do it themselves before, then they didn't really do it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then as for like the HOA thing, you're in a really good territory where they're strict and a lot of people were engaging with your posts about that. Like it seemed like you were from those screenshots and stuff you posted, it seemed like your posts were getting good engagement because um, they needed to get the service done. So once they saw you kind of calling out a pain point that they faced, like, the HOA was on their ass, they needed to do something about it. You positioned yourself as a solution to help them out. Like it got a ton of engagement and worked out really well for you. So for a lot of people, this might not be as relevant, but if you are in a market, anyone that's watching this, if you are in a market where that could be relevant, then I'd say squeeze the juice out of that because I know Peyton has been doing that and it's been working really well. Yeah, that HOA post guy, I think it was like 15.7 thousand views. So that got me on a work and it landed me five house washes and gutter cleaning for this renter. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Plus, and that's on the front end, but then you're also now in these areas where, you know, the HOA is present and on everyone's ass basically. So you can go door knocking, speak with the other homeowners. So on the front end, you didn't spend any money, just some time to make a quick post, but then you're getting multiple jobs. And then from those jobs, you should be able to get Google reviews, you know, leave yard signs on the yard, go door knocking, speak with their neighbors, things like that on the back end, you should be able to convert that into so much more. If you do a good job on your jobs, do like a little five, five, then go down the street to the right, five houses, go down the other side, five houses, and then across the street, do 10 houses, just leave your card, door knock, introduce yourself, say, hey, I have brushed off Mr. and Mrs. Smith's house. They were great to work with. I would love to get the opportunity to work with you and help you with your projects. And keep it simple and you'll get customers from it. The biggest thing is just doing it. A lot of people are scared to do it, but just do it. You'll get no's, but you're also going to get yeses. So just so, take care. Yeah. That was one of my big issues before I joined the group was I would watch YouTube videos on, hey, this is what you need to do. You're like, okay, yeah, I'll go do that tomorrow. I'll go do that next week. I never really implemented it. But with this group, it's helped so much. It's just such an engaging community. I know that I talked to you about this earlier, wanting to be the best of the best. This community works so hard to make each other feel like we or celebrating our wins and just wanting to be better and celebrate each other. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of people like they're afraid of these failures. They don't have that community. So they don't see people failing, failing and then succeeding, failing, succeeding. Overall, like it's you go back to um, like the stock market, you look at it in a short time frame. It's like up, down, up, down, it's all over the place. But then you extend it and in general, it's going up. It's the same thing here. Like you're going to fail a ton, but you're going to learn from it every time you fail. and in general, you're going to grow your business. So when you don't have a community where you're not actually seeing it going on around you, it's kind of hard to like believe that. But then once you're actually a part of the community, you see this person, they just told me how bad they fucked up here. They failed doing this. Look where they are now. Like that didn't put them out of business. That didn't kill them. So clearly like I shouldn't be so afraid to fail in whatever it is that we're, we're talking about. I shouldn't be afraid to fail because it, in the scheme of things, it probably won't really have any effect. If anything, you just learn from it. Yeah. One of the biggest things is learn from your mistakes, learn from your failures, because if you just take them as what they are and let it bring you down, then your business is going to stop. You won't be able to recover from it. And the community is such a big help. 
like having a tight knit group of guys, it's it's a game changer for sure. Let's backtrack a little bit. So when you were, well, I guess you already mentioned this. In the very beginning, you were doing like you said one to two thousand dollars per month. Yeah, about that range. Okay. And then in the month of March, like last month, what'd you end up doing for the month? Um, I want to say it was twelve nine seventy four. Okay, so about twelve thousand, almost yeah. thirty. Yeah, and then profit was about eleven eight fifty. Oh yeah, and that was literally month over month was from yeah. maybe two thousand dollars to twelve thousand dollars the next. That's yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. I was telling my mom and my girlfriend about them, they thought that I was joking. Once you do it, you realize like, damn, that like that was easy. I can just keep doing this over and over again. But before you do it, it seems like such a large number that it's almost like not attainable. But once you do do it, then you're like, wow, this was easy. Let me do it again and more next month and the next month and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's just all about keeping that momentum going. Yeah. And a lot of people, once they have a good month or they achieve something like a small win like this, then they usually they get comfortable, complacent, their foot is no longer on the gas. But this is where you should be going all in and pushing even harder. You know, if you're door knocking 100 houses a week, now you should be doing 150. If you're posting in 100 groups a week, now you should be doing 200. Like this is where you should be going all in on the business. And that's where like made insane growth, life change growth happens. So I'm sure this amount so far was already pretty life changing, but going all in and you know riding the momentum and not just getting complacent, but actually continue to progress at quicker rates, that's where you build something truly uh, life-changing. Yeah, so then you went from about $2,000 a month. Next month, you literally did $12,000 a month. You posted it in Facebook groups. You took Miguel's strategies and you actually implemented it. So start posting Facebook groups, next door, similar approach where you're just trying to be helpful to the community and then also leverage the community. So when you did jobs for people, were they like shouting you out or anything like that? Were you getting any engagement that way or like were you utilizing social proof at all like the people from next door or facebook that you did jobs yeah. for, were you getting yeah. i'll have them i'll ask them to write me a recommendation on next door um i'll give them my business cards a couple of them to hand out to friends um it's really all about leveraging your customers because if you do a good job then they'll take care of you too yeah and the most important thing there's take care of your customers if you do a half-assed job then they're not they're not going to be happy paying you and they're also not going to want to refer you or give your viewer anything but if you truly try to do the best possible work you can have good, good customer service like you generally want to do something great for these people they're going to leave you an amazing review they'll shout you out on social media they'll refer people to you and they'll let you leave a yard sign in their house whatever you want to do but you could leverage that one job to be so much more than that that's and it sounds cool. like that's basically why, why you had such a big growth spurt is because you leverage that to the max yeah it really is all about leveraging jobs. Uh, this past month, I have had five referrals. So from the month of March to um, April, I've had five referrals from previous jobs. So it is just all about leveraging people. I'm booked up until I'm um, flying out to Alabama on the 29th. So cool. So are you on track to do even more this month? I'm on track to do about the same, maybe a little bit more. I really just get a couple more odd jobs here and there as the month goes along. So I'm right at about 11.5 projected right now. So it's about that same area. It's only the fourth day into the month. So I'm sure you can squeeze some jobs here and there. Hopefully hit the same, if not more by the end of the month. Cool, cool. So aside from just leveraging the one, the mindset changes that we taught in Pressure Pros University, but also like the actual strategies that Miguel went over. So mainly like the Facebook and next door organic strategies. Was there anything else that you kind of um, change whether it's with mindset or actual things that you implemented that you notice helped with this this growth spurt. The mindset, just I can actually do it. I can be like one of the big guys out there doing stuff. Like I was saying, the group helped so much. Just having that right mindset, having that right community in there to help you celebrate your wins and also teach you, like, hey, if you're not doing this right, this is what you can do to correct it. Yeah, I, I think that's huge because a lot of people don't grow as much as they want because they're limiting themselves just from their beliefs, what they're putting out into the universe. They're telling themselves, you know, $10,000 a month is crazy. Like, I'm not going to be able to do that. But if you just shift your mindset exactly what you did, say, not only could I do that, but I will do that. That's going to be, you're going to keep that in the back of your mind with every decision you make, everything you do going forward. So, you know, if you're telling yourself with everything you do, you're telling yourself, I can't hit 10K or I can't do whatever this 
whatever goal I have in mind, then you're probably not gonna be able to do it. Whereas if you're going in thinking I can do this and I will do this with every decision you make every, every you know, every single day, then it's much more likely to happen. And for you, I mean, it was almost an instant result where the second you change mindset, you had that abundance mindset and money started flowing to you essentially. I think if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm still running out of my car right now. It's a Mazda with a little four gallon per minute machine and a 20 inch surface cleaner. And whenever I go down and get my chemicals, all the guys at the big pressure washing store give me a hard time about it. So I was always thinking, oh yeah, I need a big trailer. I need a $30,000 trailer with a $50,000 truck. I'm running a 18, 19 year old car right now with a $1,500 setup. And I just made $10,000 last month. It really is that I can do it. I think anyone can. It's all about your mindset, all about you wanting to actually grow and put everything in the Yeah, that, that's huge. And I think that's a great point to leave off on. So once again, I'm really happy for you. I'm, I'm so glad to see that, like the stuff, the work you're putting in, you're actually taking action on the stuff we're teaching and it's actually working. That's that's the best part is that you're actually putting the work and it's working. Like it's a testament to the work ethic you've been showing these past, I guess, few weeks, either like six weeks or so. So I'm super happy to see things are going well for you. And we're definitely going to stay in contact because I'm sure in a few months, you're going to be doing much better. And, you know, going forward, it's just going to be a constant uh, race to the top. So thank you for hopping on today. Are there any other last points or anything you'd like to leave off before we end? Uh, not really. I don't think so. Just it's all about your mindset, all about actually wanting to grow and putting everything into your growth and wanting to help the business succeed. Because if you're just on the edge, you're not going to succeed. You need to be all in. Exactly. Yeah. And, and we push this all the time in the program. So I'm glad that that really resonated with you and stuck with you. And mm -hmm. to anyone watching, I hope you guys like you really listen today and really take action because it's all about mindset. I, I'm sure you guys heard the saying, those who say they can and those who say they can't are both usually right. If you're telling yourself you can't do something, you probably won't do it. If you're telling some, yourself you can do something, you'll probably be able to do it. So instead of saying, you know, I can't do $10,000 per month, Maybe start thinking, I can do $100,000 per month. And then you will be amazed by the numbers you end up hitting. Even if not 100,000, you'll be a lot you know, further ahead than you probably are at. Uh, once again, thanks for hopping on today. I really appreciate your time and keep killing it, man. You're doing great. I appreciate it, Michael. Thank you.